Hello Magical Butterflies, this is X Tina with Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope this finds you having a magical day, night or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, comments, subscription to the channel, and for viewing my videos. To book a personal reading, a live one-on-one -on -one session via Zoom, Reiki distance session, twin flame coaching program, mentorship program, or Reiki love healing program, please go to my website, butterflyintuition.com, where you can book the link to my website along with my full list of services and all the ways you can connect with me outside of YouTube are in the description box below. Welcome to the Twin Flame Weekly Energy Check-In. This is going to be a weekly energy check-in just to see what is going on in the Twin Flame Collective. This is going to be a general collective reading. This can apply to all types of Twin Flame connections regardless of what is going on, the status. Take only what speaks directly to your soul and what doesn't speak directly to your soul. Release it and let it fly. So first, I'm going to look into what the current energy is with the new moon in Gemini. What is the new moon in Gemini bringing to the Twin Flame Collective as a whole for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine? What is this new moon in Gemini bringing to the Twin Flame Collective this week? Healthy boundaries keep me centered and balanced. I love myself completely and unconditionally. We are all sisters and reflect the divine in one another. So what I'm getting is that twin flames are learning to set boundaries in their life with themselves, each other, and other people in their lives. They are learning the importance of self-love and connecting to the soul tribe. So the new moon in Gemini is bringing in a sense of new. I feel a lot of energy from the past is being let go of this week or it is being shown that it needs to be let go of. It is showing each twin flame, divine masculine, divine feminine, that what is part of the past cannot come with you into the future. It is time to live in the present moment. It is time to embrace how far you have come, who you have become, and where you want to go. New moons are about a new cycle starting it happens every month and twin flames overall are being guided to embrace this change and to set boundaries when we set boundaries we set boundaries to teach people how to treat us when we have no boundaries when we allow someone with no boundaries to come into our life it disrupts our, our peace and it also makes us go down a path that is not for us. So it is time to align around people who are for you, who uplift you, who support you, who are on your side, and who are bringing you a powerful new change and a powerful new beginning. So there is a big shift happening this week within the Twin Flame Collective. So let's just look into now what this shift is bringing. So what is this shift bringing to the Twin Flame Collective overall for both Divine Masculine, both Divine Feminine, for the viewer, their Twin Flame. What is it bringing to their Twin Flame connection overall, the Twin Flame journey? What can you tell me is the shift that the new moon in Gemini is bringing? The first card we have is the Wheel of Fortune. 
So there is something moving forward. The Wheel of Fortune is number 10 and 10s are about new cycles starting. So I feel there is something new that is getting ready to begin. And when it comes to the Divine Feminine, she is now more into the Queen of Pentacles energy where she is focused on the pentacles. She could be career focused. She could be looking for a new job, focused on her career, maybe building a business, building a brand, really just putting the focus on herself because the queen of pentacles is a very grounded and stable queen. She does not look for things. She just knows they will come to her. So divine feminine is getting into this energy. This could be specific if the divine feminine and the twin flame connection is an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or has that dominant somewhere in their chart. But she is starting to see that this Nine of Pentacles, this old way, this old energy serves no purpose for her as she moves forward into this new chapter of her life. As she releases the past, she is going to see there are many options coming towards her in the future. This is in regards to love, to career, to life in general. And she is no longer afraid of aligning to her destiny, her true path, her true purpose. And she is now looking for it instead of running from it. She is becoming the empress and she is getting into this new birth, this new beginning energy. And what that is doing for her is aligning her to her moon child. So this new moon in Gemini energy is bringing in a sense of awareness and a sense of a new chapter for the Divine Feminine. When it comes to the Divine Masculine, he is in the energy of the Four of Pentacles. So he has been focusing on his career, but I feel he has been holding on too tightly. So if the masculine has been wanting to manifest something in his career or go to um, maybe get promoted or get seen, he's holding on too tightly or maybe he holds on too tightly to his money. So he is being guided to trust more, to trust that when you have faith, and you believe and you just continue to do the hard work, you're going to be rewarded. Divine Masculines this week may experience a tower moment. They may have a sense of an upheaval, an up, 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 something upheaval that's going to uplift them and get everything to fall into place is what I'm hearing. It is going to bring in the Three of Cups, where he is going to be forced to really get into his emotions and stop running from his feelings. And what that is going to do, it's going to make him realize with the Page of Wands that that small offer that was handed to him a long time ago by the Feminine was unjustly denied. He will have deep regret over the pain that he has caused the Feminine and he will want to balance the scale. So justice shows me that he will want to either have a new beginning with her and bring in this justice, an apology, or he may experience someone doing to him what he did to her. He will want to work with her, but the question I'm hearing is, is it too late? Am I too late? What does she feel for me? And that will keep him in the Eight of Swords. So I feel this Divine Masculine has a lot of inner child wounds, inner demons that he has yet to face on his journey. He has a Queen of Cups around him who is trying to show him to get more into his sensitive side, his intuitive side. And she is also teaching him the importance of being in the Six of Pentacles energy where he does start moving forward in his life and he starts making decisions that are based for him. She will help him become the King of Swords, a balanced and logically thinking king. But he has a lot of karmic energy, a lot of devil, a lot of addictions, a lot of things that he needs to release. So I feel with this divine feminine and masculine I'm picking up on this week, they are on two different 
timelines as far as the journey, the feminine is a lot more advanced than him. So feminine, if you have a divine masculine who is just beginning his awakening, let him catch up to you. If he's meant to catch up to you, he will. Don't look back. And just know that whatever is meant to be in your connection, the lovers is showing me that something new is coming. Something new is getting ready to transform. So just trust that what you're feeling and what you're sensing with your twin flame, if you're being guided to let go, to walk away, to focus on you, to just focus on this new chapter of your life, listen to what you're being guided to do. Don't make him the center of your focus, of your attention, of your mind. It's more about getting now into the headspace of understanding that you need to shift more into the heart space. So I feel if you have been in the head space, you have to shift into the heart space. And if you are in the head space, you have to logically see this connection for what it is, see him for what he is. And if things are not changing, if things are not shifting, if things are not going in the direction that you would, had hoped they would have gone into by now, there's a reason for it. It just means it's just not the right timing. So don't undo a boundary and go back or look back or hold space or wait. Continue to move forward and know that he will catch up to you if that is what's meant to be in your connection. So I'm going to get you some guidance to close out this week's reading. So what is the love guidance this week for the Twin Flame Collective? What guidance, advice, what do they need to know about their Twin Flame connection? What do you want them to know? Any action steps they may be guided to take with their twin flame, with their connection, and of course their personal journey of self, love, and healing. Okay, so I have three cards that came out already. So your first message is, it's important right now to take a step back and spend time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So spirit is telling you it's time to focus on you. It's time to take that step back to go into hermit mode this week and to really connect with what you want and where you see yourself in the future. Because you have a beautiful, sacred union with your twin flame. And you should honor and treasure this relationship, for, you, for it is truly sacred. It is one of a kind. It is unique. And you are never going to have this with anyone else. But, for some of you, when you take a step back and don't put the twin flame as the focus you will call in a soulmate. This is not going to be for everybody because it's going to be for those who do want a soulmate to come in and are open to a soulmate coming in because your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So you have a soulmate that wants to come in. And the message from the soulmate is, My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. You have a deep passion within you regardless of what you are wanting in love. Whether it's your twin flame or you're open to a soulmate coming in. It doesn't matter. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. When you stay in your power, you bring in this passion. But spirit is telling you to wait so don't rush into it and allow nature to take its course so this card is just telling you to not force something to happen before it's ready instead accept it when it comes to your twin flame connection acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control especially when it comes to the free will decision of another person and your final message is romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. So Cupid has his arrow pointed. And there is a beautiful love that is coming for you, whether it's with your twin flame or with a soulmate. Be open to this love that spirit has for you. And just know when you embrace the unknown, the inevitable, what is coming, through each other you find the missing pieces. You will find the missing pieces. Because the past is now behind you, just release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith and just know 
in time, you will have it all. You are trying too hard, give it time. Trust in divine timing. Trust that there is something new. And when you get frustrated, when you get stuck, ask yourself, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So when you get stuck and you don't know which way to go, how to think, what to do, get out of your head, connect to your heart space, work on the heart chakra if the heart chakra is blocked or closed, doing heart chakra meditations or guided meditations or Reiki will help open the door because the answers you seek are always within. I do hope this week's Twin Flame Energy Check-In has brought you the clarity and guidance on just what the current energy is for the collective this week with the new moon in Gemini. If this resonated and you like this video, drop a comment below to claim it. Let me know how it resonated for you. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe and share this video with anybody who you feel would like to hear the messages in this reading. If you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Please make sure to hit the bell notification so you are notified when new content is posted on this channel. Have a beautiful week, and I will talk to you soon.